y'all, let's do a scripture writing journal entry. I will be using a purple and green theme. So I have plenty of purple and green pens. I have Mr. Pen pens. I have gel pens. I have Mr. Pen washi tape along with some other washi tapes. More Mr. Pen pens, <laughs> scrapbook packs. And I have my illuminated scripture journal. This is the English standard version. And this is the journal that I will be using to copy the scripture out of when I write it in this sketchbook here that I got from the Dollar Tree. This is one that I plan to write many of the scriptures in as much as I could fit. And I have written Ruth in here. And now we are going to do 1 John chapter 1 today. Any of the products that I am using will be listed in the description below. So if you're wondering about how to get something or where to find it, check the description. If it's available online on Amazon, I will put a link so that you can easily find it. I am using my calligraphy markers that I got because sometimes I try hand lettering. It never turns out good and honestly, I don't take the time to practice so that I can make it look beautiful like other people, but it is what it is. <laughs> And here are gel pens. And of course, I have several shades of each color. And I was just trying to decide what color to go with first. I went through several Bible studies on 1 John. I used several of my study Bibles that I have, as well as watched several videos because that is the way that I like to do a study. I like to get as many resources as possible and then I take notes before I do a scripture writing journal entry because I like to try to understand the best that I can before I write the scripture down. Writing the scripture down helps keep it in my mind and keep it in my heart. Whenever I write things down, it helps me remember it better. So this is a really good tool for me personally in order to help memorize scripture and keep it fresh in my mind. I noticed I made a mistake here. I started copying a line below where I was actually at and I kept this in here to show you that it doesn't have to be perfect. We're all human and we make mistakes. So I just found a way to fix it. I took a piece of paper from my scrapbook pack and glued it down over the line so that you couldn't even see it. So it looks like it was supposed to be there. And then I just continued on. <laughs> It's just to show you guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. These are your journals. Nobody's really even going to see them unless you specifically show them to people around you. But scripture writing is for you. It's between you and God. It's part of your worship time. And he knows that we're not perfect and we make mistakes. Have any of you studied 1 John? And if you have... What do you think that you learned that was something significant that you didn't realize before you did the study? I'm curious because anything from anybody else's point of view or maybe something that you learned that I didn't think about or that I didn't go over in any of my studies would be so helpful for me and maybe even for some other people to read in the comments. So please comment below. I'm very curious what you got out of your study on 1 John. Once I finished writing 1 John, I went back in and added some washi tape just to make the page a little bit more pretty. And then on the scrapbook piece that I added, I just went back and wrote some things, added some washi tape and made it kind of fit into the page a little bit better. Here is a quick look at the scripture writing that I did for 1 John chapter 1. 
this is not the end. There is still more to come, so stay tuned. Now I am copying my Bible study notes that I took on 1 John chapter 1 into my scripture writing journal because as I've mentioned before, writing things down helps it stick in my head. So it is just reiterating this into my mind and helping me remember. Plus, when I go back and look through my scripture writing journal, I have my Bible study notes right there after each chapter for me to review again. And it helps me compare, say in the future, I come back and I've learned even more. I can see how much I've grown through the Bible studies that I do. Here's a quick look at my study notes so you can get an idea of what it looks like. And please remember, you don't have to do anything exactly the way I do it or even close to the way I do it. The point of these videos is just to give you an idea and maybe even a starting place. I just really want to encourage you to stay in the word. Stay in the word.